uh, in a speech yesterday, President Obama addressed the Navy Yard shooting, praising the first responders. But he quickly turned to his planned speech on the economy, where he criticized Republicans for threatening a government shutdown. At the moment, Republicans in Congress don't seem to be focused on how to grow the economy and build the middle class. I say at the moment because I'm still hoping that uh, a light bulb goes off here. <laughs> so far, their budget ideas revolve primarily around even deeper cuts to education, even deeper cuts that would gut America's scientific research and development, even deeper cuts to America's infrastructure. I cannot remember a time when one faction of one party promises economic chaos if it can't get 100% of what it wants. That's never happened before. But that's what's happening right now. Are some of these folks really so beholden to one extreme wing of their party that they're willing to tank the entire economy? just because they can't get their way on this issue? Are they really willing to hurt people just to score political points? All right, when asked about the tone of the speech, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney defended it, saying the speech was necessary since Congress must act to avoid a government shutdown. He says no consideration was given to rescheduling it. John Heilman, I, I, I have more of an issue with the staging of it, given what was going on at the time. Do you think the criticism, and there have been a couple of pieces um, and uh, news outlets that have had opinion pieces on this that are saying it was a little inappropriate. Is that fair? I think it's pretty, it's kind of fair in the sense that, you know, we just around the, around the table here, we're saying that if you can imagine if this, if, if a similar thing had happened under uh, George W. Bush, that, that a lot of people would be outraged that he did not uh, stop and just focus specifically on the tragedy that was happening yesterday. You know, there's so much with the president right now. If you, if you think about this, you know, I, you can't help but think that part of his reaction to this still goes back to his frustration over an inability to get anything done. And the resistance that he felt that he, they encountered when he tried to get something done on gun control after Newtown, and that part of you know we, we, the, 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 the culture is increasingly sadly inured to these things. And I, I you know some of his frustration. If you were a, I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist, and I don't play one on TV, but some of his frustration at the Republican Party, which is so pervasive now that you al you almost hear in his lashing out at Republicans on the fiscal stuff here a kind of transference that he's still incredibly frustrated with Republicans over everything, wow. but specifically over the fact that there was a, 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 yeah, a, hor a horrific tragedy that happened nine months ago in Newtown, and he tried to move gun control legislation and couldn't but, get it done, but, and but I think probably blames the Republican Party mostly for that. Yes, I agree. Mike, Willie, what was going on? You know what's What was going on at the time that the president delivered this partisan speech? Well, he delivers the speech, but Jay Carney's, and we, 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 we love Jay, we love Jay, he's a great guy, but to insist in response yesterday to the question why wasn't it postponed say that never came into consideration then there's something wrong with the management in that by way. the way there's something Willie guys what was going on at the time the president was talking about Republicans liking to hurt, quote hurt people well, the building was obviously still locked down they were looking for a shooter or shooters they didn't know at the time they were finding bodies or people hiding in lockers this was a scheduled speech for a long time. It was the five-year anniversary of the collapse of Lehman and everything else. Right. A critical issue, no question. Let's do this tomorrow. <laughs> no question. Let's do yeah. it the day after. Um, he did obviously talk about it at the top of that speech, but as yeah, Mika said, the, the small piece of staging that? of it was Because that's exactly, tough. Willie, I mean, I... I was distracted by the people behind him that looked very excited to be there to well, talk they, about whatever. Well, it was a prop. I, they, he brought his they were, props along, and he had this political speech, and it was, it was a harsh. I wouldn't have put him in that position. speech from a, the president of the United Can States we, maybe we're on over. any day. But, never. but, 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 and and but, you know what? This president is frustrated, and there is. He certainly has every right to do that. But on the day while people were hiding, while people were bleeding, while people were dying, while the nation was locked in on this, he's talking about harsh partisanship. 
and Republicans wanting to hurt people. Mike, but what is more partisan than not being able to put aside one of these stupid Washington battles? But postponing uh, it never for a came day. under consideration. Never came under consideration. We never considered it. Never. There's not one person in the White House that said, you know, right down the block, people are dying right now, and there's a gunman on the loose, and the local schools are on shutdown, and the Capitol is on shutdown, and there may be a second or third gunman. And you know what? Maybe we'll just give this speech tomorrow. Really? Nobody, nobody even, nobody ever consider that? If you believe Jay Carney? Never came under consideration. Never came under consideration. It's unbelievable. I'm not sure we really believe Jay Carney about that, do we? It's unbelievable. I mean, I think it'd be, I, to, 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 I to, say, to say that it had been under I consideration would simply open the door. <laughs> I, I, my guess is that that may not have been entirely true. Well, others in Congress were uh, I just can't imagine to this. if any other president did this. The ramifications. George W.? <laughs> George W., can you imagine yeah. what certain people at this network in 2006 well, at this, at this seven table, or eight at would this have done in at 2008? At this, what are you saying? At this table, can you okay. imagine the way Mika would have reacted? Mika, right. would, Mika would be killing George yes, W. Everybody here on this network would be killing George W. Everybody at the New York Times would be killing George W. Every journalist in Washington, D.C. would be killing George W. It's okay, unbelievable. Okay, but also, you... I mean, I think it's he, unbelievable. I think it's. I think he was put in a horrible position. No, he wasn't. He's president of the United the States. He should. Be, he should be. He but should be would, smart enough. That? The guy should Does be smart enough. There should be one person there that had the guts to say, "Mr. President, you know, people are dying you right can't now. Do this. You probably should not." You got to go in and say, "You, you, you know, comfort this. the nation today. No, that's attack what, Republicans that's what, tomorrow. Do what you do best." Or you'd like to think he would have comfort that instinct the himself. As, you would like to think that. As the CEO of the government, guys, let's do this tomorrow. As the leader of the country, you would think that. Up next.